Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're going to create this layered cutout effect in Photoshop. Create a new 1920 by 1080 pixels document in Photoshop, set it to RGB color mode, 8 bit, and let's change the background contents right away. Click on this box to change the color and let's set the RGB values to 240, 200 and 10. Click OK and click Create. Great. Now I've downloaded this pattern from the link in the description. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it here on the canvas. Hold down Alt or Option and drag one of the edges to scale it up from the center. Press Enter to confirm. In the Layers panel, change the Blending Mode by clicking on this drop down menu here and set it to Overlay. Make sure you watch my video about Blending Modes. Link is in the description. Let's also set the Opacity to 15%. Now activate the horizontal type tool, click once on the canvas, and here in the options bar, I set the text color to yellow. You can sample it from the background here. Click OK, set the font, the style, and the size, and I'll type the number two. You can't see it right now because it's yellow on yellow, but anyway, let's activate the move tool and try to center the text. And we can do that later as well. In the layers panel, double click on an empty area on the text layer to open the layer style window and click to activate the stroke effect. I'll set it to 20 pixels, set the position to outside, the opacity to 100%, set the fill type to color, and the color to orange. Now click to activate the inner shadow, set the blend mode to multiply, and make sure you watch my video about blending modes. You already told us that. Choose a dark brown color, set the opacity to 90%, the angle to 90 degrees, the distance to 15 pixels, the choke to 5%, and the size to 40 pixels, and then click OK. Now let's drag that pattern again and drop it on the canvas, but this time there's no need to scale it up because it's already covering the text. So you can press enter to confirm. Now press Control alt g or command option g to create a clipping mask so the pattern is only visible inside the text layer. Finally, change the blending mode of the pattern to overlay. Make, make sure you watch my video about blending Stop. modes. And you can also use the move tool to adjust the position of the pattern. And that's it. You can choose what to watch next. Choose wisely. Blending mode.